Everyone's story is different. Each story of homelessness or being at risk of homelessness is different. It could come from a background of poverty where growing up they've always dealt with uh, substandard housing or a lack of resources. Another situation, and we find this more often and more often, is sexual identity. Uh, people who are people who identify as something other than heterosexual are often just given the boot by parents and members of the LGBT community are greatly overrepresented in the homeless population and that's a sad thing that's a sad thing for more than 10 years people in Windsor Ontario said we need services for homeless youth finally the United Church did something about it and opened this storefront drop-in. Initially, we thought we were just offering um, the material goods that people need to live their lives. And we still do a hot meal every night, um, toiletries, a uh, place to do laundry, um, a safe space out of the elements, the weather. Um, what I've come to understand, however, is that what's being offered is more than that. What's being offered is all of those elements combined to create a sense of stability. And I think that that's the most important element right now for a lot of these youth. We are open six days a week, no matter what, from five till 10. The hours never change, and they know that. Um, and they know that dinner is at 6.30 every night. So it's the kind of stability that people try to establish within their own homes in their own households, but we know that that doesn't always happen. Put them in there. Just remember that when it melts, it's going to go down, so they're going to kind of fuse a little bit, but they won't mix colors so much unless we want to mix it. So you can see just sit. I'm actually currently living with a roommate and it's, 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 it's pretty good, but it's not the same. It's kind of like, okay, well, I'm not living with my parents, so it's like, okay, who's gonna tell me when this is, uh, this is not right? Or who's gonna tell me if I'm doing the wrong thing? So I turn to the youth center to help me out with everything like that. So it's really good to have something like that. Shaney started coming just for dinner. But she and Stephen now volunteer oh, together really and run the weekly art program. <laughs> My next stop is going to be university, and I'm going to be most likely taking the fine arts program there. Um, and I'm still going to be volunteering here, probably not as much because I'll probably be studying a lot more, but that'll be my next few steps. But I will try and be here as much as possible too. Happy birthday! The Mission and Service Fund has been instrumental in keeping these doors open. Those monetary resources um, allowed this place to exist, allowed this place to be here, which means if there was nothing before this, you know, that, that funding helped to create something from nothing, you know, and that is a miracle. To keep miracles happening, Please continue to give to the Mission and Service Fund. Thank you.